can come if you want. Oh, that would be lovely. Would you like to come? Yeah. Um, it's uh, January 12th at Bethel, which is in Berkeley, at 1015. And I think because, um, I think because, because it just might happen, uh, Kathy might cater it. Oh. She's definitely coming, and her mom's going to accompany Gretchen. Oh, but, nice. Um, uh-oh. I can't answer that. But, yeah, it should be really fun. It's, um, it's a service and then a light lunch at 12.15 or whenever it's over. And the, what is it, the 12th at 10.15? Mm -hmm. Saturday morning. Bethel. That would be so cool. That would be fun. That would be really sweet. Um, yeah. It's such a meaningful time for, for the kids, you know, that they just, I don't know, anytime I've, I've been to the students, they just watching them take ownership somehow of their life. It's just, it's, I just enjoyed that, that transition, watching that transition happen. Well, it's, yeah, and Bethel is a super busy synagogue, so it's really literally a bat or a bar mitzvah every weekend, almost. That makes sense. But it's really, yeah. But there's a little pressure, like she said, can I have a party? I said, you're having a lunch for 100 people. I think that qualifies. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> but, you know, many of them have these big parties later in the evening with, that's just, that's intense. Right. Not happening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's do Pute to... I don't think I pressed the button. Pute I did press the button. Page okay. five. Let's do that. Okay. Page five. I'm skipping the stuff I know how, I know you know how to do. Yeah. Because I won't see you for a lesson again until next year. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, and before you leave today, don't forget you get a candy cane poultry. Oh, where's her purse? Hanging on the uh, coat rack in the entrance. That you. Yeah, mm -hmm. mom can take care of it. Okay. Ready? So, let's see. Um, let's just do, let's do number two and three. And the, what's the tricky thing? Do you remember? Keep my balance when you keep it soft. Balance is so, yes, those two things are really hard, but you're going to get, it's going to get easier. Let's see if we can take the hook out and make it smooth slur. Page 33 notes. I wrote 33 or 35. Just because I'm not going to see you for three weeks. Can you believe it? No. Two lessons I'll be away. So I want to make sure and give you lots to do to keep you entertained. I brought my little four. 
But are we back on group on the 7th? No group on that day. No group. But there'll be lessons that week. Lesson, okay. Finish the whole first part. I actually fly back that day and do it. I didn't have a flight early enough to be back in time to teach. So. Yeah, you don't. I'm going to see my family in Michigan, in Chicago, and then I'm going to Cabo. Wow. Right, so that means there won't be trio for actually quite a while. That's right. Because the seventh is not, would have been the other people's turn. Right. And then our turn is the next week, but now it's switched, and no, then no. we have Martin Luther King. No, so it's not yours to switch. You are the following week. They're coming on Friday that week. Oh, okay. So you're keeping your regular schedule. Oh, okay. That, that I'm not coming on the seventh. Okay, I'm fine. Out of, yeah, okay, good, yeah. good, good. good. So the, then they have Martin Luther King, and that would have messed everything up. I teach normally. I'm, I'm, I'm I know, but I think we're going to be away. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I see, right, because I know. But we're, we're good. Good. helping you so if there's any doubt about whether or not you're doing it accurately and know it well enough to move on they'll be able to help you with that okay. you don't have to wait till you see me okay this is too far away all right i would like to do gray actually i don't need to do music will you come in right okay. okay i don't think i'll be fine okay. i'll just give them if you write in it So, that's good. 
Did you, were you running around a lot? Yeah. yeah. I actually eat before the end of the day to stay uh, That's That will do it. It's good though that you have to practice being sweaty because what do you think will happen when you perform on stage with big bright lights and things like that? I'm going to get sweaty. You're going to get sweaty. And so you have to learn how to you know, deal with it. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah. Kind of gross, but I'll tell you one. Uh -huh. So I have a friend of mine, crazy amazing violinist, per performs all over the world. She has this secret trick. And I don't think everybody knows that she's doing this, but she'll be up on stage. I didn't see her do it the last time she performed, but she goes like this. And she takes her fingers and she rubs them on the strings like this. And she's putting her forehead grease on her strings so that she can shift more easily. Isn't that gross? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Joan she wasn't, would love that. What's that? Joan Balter. Well, yeah, would right. Love that. <laughs> if she wasn't so good, I wouldn't tell the story. <laughs> right. She's yeah. All right. So um, this is what I think about the word. I think you know it really well, but I want to do one thing just to refine your skills playing something like this, where there's a lot of string changes. You know where the important notes are. Like you know where to bring them out. You've got lots of dynamics. The trick is. The notes that aren't important or that are quiet, can we play them with a rich sound but still be quiet so that we don't have fuzz? So this is where, for example, the first half, I smashed my thumb today, so let's see what I can do with it. So you hear my loud notes, but when I get quiet, it's not fuzzy. Sure. There's a hair of fuzz, so I'm going to give you a trick to make it easier for you to do fuzz elimination. You still need to do some leaning to play quiet, but if you use less bow, just try that out. Do it quietly, but with... Yes! so easy it's like watching television. <laughs> Do you wish it was that easy? Yeah. Yeah. But that's our goal. We can make it easy once we practice it enough. Then it is like twinkle, play twinkle for me. I bet this is as easy as watching television. Yeah. What do you think? Easy. You're totally easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know who Eamon is, cellist, the teenager? So it's with Sergei, but he might have gone to one of the cello workshops. Anyway, I saw a video of him playing yesterday, and he just looks, I mean, he's gotten big, so the cello looks puny on him, but he just, it looks like it's to totally easy. He makes it look easy. He, he does, just physically easy. And I think if we practice enough, even us violinists who have to hold up our instruments, you know, cellists are kind of lazy because they don't have to hold their instruments. Right? Don't you think cellists are lazy? Yeah, they just have to do this. Yeah, and it's so easy. It's so much easier for them. Except then they have to carry it in their case. That is a pain in the neck. Yeah. yeah. Same with violin. Except it's heavy. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's let's go to this part. And when we get quieter at the end of the phrases, or some phrases are quieter. Uh, uh, it's a little fuzzy, but I, it's that just because of where the bow is. Mm -hmm. 
like to play, go have dinner with people and play violin for them? I don't really do that that much. You should do that. This would be a great piece for it. And you know, this piece was originally written to play without piano. So I never have my students perform it with piano. So it's a perfect piece to play because there's nothing missing. So, okay, that's your job on this one. Otherwise, it sounds great. Okay. All right. So it's concerto. What's that? I need my book for it. That's fine. I need a yellow paper for book four. I have a yellow paper for book four. I like that. Now you can find your books more easily. That's a good idea. Blue, so, it's black, blue, orange, yellow, and then red. Excellent. Okay, I want to hear what you got. Then I'll give you some more. Interject, you know, I mean, I'm an amateur, Marsha is the professional. You know, Marsha has a delicate line. She doesn't want to teach Ella a way that you might not want her to. I mean, you know, she's trying to be so careful not to do that. So she didn't know if you wanted to do it that way or if you wanted her to jump right in. And oh, I, well, I think that's a great way to start, but I think she's ready to go next. Well, time. right, but I just wanted to put that in is that sometimes I think that's a very delicate line for her to not want to, especially with a long break coming up, uh, right. you know, it's especially like if she does something different than you, mm -hmm. then Ella has to fix it, right. which is hard. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Well, today that's why I'm rushing through everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to get as we'll far as we can in this. Yeah. So it's Just the way I do, 
We do not do those staccatos. So in case that comes up. without staccato, so I just... And then it's an eighth, eighth measure, right? Mm -hmm. Plus the measures before and, and after wait, it. And wait, and wait, and wait, and then it's easy. Right, so what would be nice is for you to memorize the sound of the piano part in your head, or the orchestra part in your head. Yeah, I sort of do. So, okay, so then I go ahead and play the piano part. Then you come in. Okay? Should we try it? Mm. I'm going to play the piano part. I don't part. really memorize the last part. <laughs> okay. So it's fine. We don't have to do it today, but that's what that's what we're aiming for. Okay. okay. You want to go on? Do you want to do the next section? Yeah. This was sort of tricking me, so I play a one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Sometimes it throws people. and exciting. So your job is to find the phrases. Okay? So how about you play that first, start the section, and stop when you think the phrase is over. Okay, so I play the whole first page. Whole phrase, not page. Phrase. So I know, so I start from the beginning. No, no, sorry, in this section. Which one do you, would you like to be loud? Maybe you can hear the E. So that's one way, yeah, you, that's certainly one way you can do it because there's a crescendo into it. Where is there another crescendo? Right there. Yeah, yeah. So we pro my thought is that Sites probably want us to crescendo a little here. But he doesn't say to get into diminuendo there. He asks you to do even another crescendo. So this is like the mini arrival note, and this is the absolute biggest. So let's start. It's not the, 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 the. It's marked mezzo forte, but we can play mezzo piano. It will make it easier for us to crescendo, I think. Because if you start too loud, then there's nowhere to go. Your violin isn't as loud as a Stradivarius full size violin. Yeah. I mean, maybe when you get a full size, you'll get a Stradivarius. As long as you're saving. But then you have to review this. Sarah Jones is in the closet. Yeah, lying for it. around. So you need to start busking to save money because they cost about $10 million. Okay. Start saving. I have money. <laughs> right there, ready? because that's where the side's marked to get even louder. And it's a, what we call an arrival note. Where it's like you arrive at the top of the mountain with great joy, woohoo! Okay? Yes? I think I know where the next phrase is. Oh man, where? After the E. Oh, you do know. Okay, so your project is to figure out the phrases. All the phrases are gonna be like roller coasters. The question is, what is the shape of the roller coaster? Where is the highest? the loudest moment of the roller coaster. And since I believe that there's not one right and one wrong way, you can work it out by yourself and you can work it out with Marsha. Um, just, you can experiment. You can say out this or this. And the trick is just to start with little bits of both. And use more and more. Make sense? 
you just have to, you can pick what seems natural to you, but you have to follow the dynamics that are written. Okay. All right. All right, let's go to the next page. There is a weird spot in here that we're going to practice first. Right here. Okay? This note right here, what is the name of that note? That it's is an F sharp. Oh, no. The sharp goes to the note after it. What's the name of the note after it? The note is on the line. No, this is a D and this is an F sharp. Please. It's not. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a D, just like you said, right? Mm -hmm. This is on the line, the bottom line of the staff. What note is the bottom line of the staff? Oh, it's on the D. Okay. So if there's a note on the bottom line of the staff, what's the name of it? On point to what you think is an F. Right. Yeah, but we're not talking about that note. We're talking about the note right here. What's the note that's on? That's an not. That's square. not the spot in space. This is on. An F natural. But what's the main? What, how is it written here? An F with a sharp. No, this is an F. Oh, it's an E sharp. Got that mixed up. I can see that. <laughs> so. It's an E sharp, which is very weird. We've never played one of those before. What happens if you get go a half step higher than E? What do you land on? <laughs> so it is an F something, sort of. But it is written as an E sharp, but it makes the sound of an F, right? So what we're going to do is instead of putting our first finger in the normal place, we're going to scooch it up next to the high two. And that's the sound it's going to make. Does that sound interesting? Kind of like sucking on a lime or something. Time all together. Six plus one is seven. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Do you know what instrument's playing during that note? I feel like it's a cello or something near a cello on strings. Because it's kind of low. Yeah. Keep listening. It's not a cello. It also sounds something higher. It might. Well, the button. Is that what you think? Maybe there's more than one instrument playing at the same time. Do you know what it is? No. We couldn't hear it. You couldn't hear it? Oh. But maybe if we don't listen in the car, we would hear it better. Oh, yeah. You know, where, that's where we listen to everything, so you know, maybe there's other noises. That right, and the, and the speakers probably aren't as good as... I, I think that's become kind of an issue in general. Like we tried two or three times, we just couldn't tell Yeah. what it was. I think we're better, better, better speakers. Yeah. I've actually had students like repeatedly listen to something on headphones, and like, I can't hear that note, like the sum note they're trying to practice that they just couldn't hear. Oh, um, well, think that's that a good point. Maybe, yeah. yeah find Maybe that. our car speakers aren't that good. Most car speakers are not that good. Okay, you ready? Okay. One, ready, go. <laughs>
I've got problems, we do not do the staccato because it goes way too fast. Yeah. What you might eventually do, what you might eventually do is um, do what's called sautier. We are not going to do that now. That's what it's off day. Yeah. We're going to do that later. We're going to do it later. Okay? Don't, you don't, nobody really does it in this piece. You ready? How do you really do it? Is it like a knee down? It's, yeah, it's a little flopping with the hand. And the bow doesn't really come off the string. The hand doesn't come off, but the stick bounces. That's how you say it. Okay, you ready? Let's play normal for right now, though. Starting in the middle, it might be hard to remember that. Work on 
I was talking to somebody else about this, Kiana. We were talking about how uh, I was, she was learning tricks for playing fast, but she needed to go slow so she did them right. Your hands tired? I would go to rest position if I were you. My wife's not turning. Oh, it's just so sweaty. Oh, that's right, that's good. Try this beat. Deary, 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 deary. When you can do that at 60, you go to 61. When you can do it at 62, at 62, you go to 63, you go to 64, you keep working so your way up. So 60 to 70 or 100? We got three weeks. Go and get as fast as you can. I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. just see how far you can get. Okay. All right? And something like perpetual motion, you're not going to do 10 times a day. But this you might do 10 times a day. Okay. All right? And so if you did it 10 times a day and you went up almost every notch and you started at 60, you know, I don't want you to go at 200, though. That would be too fast. Yeah, or 200 so stop, is Stop when it gets too fast, uh, okay? Like at double string where you just double that, and then fast. Right, yeah. You can get pretty fast. I like to go fast. But the metronome for this is going to have to take on every eighth note or every uh, dotted quarter note. So it's actually... Well, where are you at? then you're going to put all six notes. But I wouldn't do it with the metronome for the first couple of days because you just need to get comfortable with the notes. Okay? okay. And you can go even slower than 60 if you want. Okay. You just can't go slower than 40 if the metronome doesn't go any slower. Except for on your phone. Does it go for it? Yes. I don't think you'll need to. Okay. All right, I think that we, we, it would be nice to um, make sure we check in with the shifting etude in book two, page 29 or whatever it was. Let's start with A string. three weeks, but let's do the second position one. And I'm looking because I don't know which page it's on. It might be in book three. You have book three with you? Yeah, I do. Okay. You have it. I have it? I think you have it. I don't this is book two. You did have it, actually. It's under there. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, right, right. Wait, when, you need, when you needed the music, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. I know. I know. Well, we're, sometimes we're I like it. I appreciate the offer because sometimes I like to make notes while you play so I don't interrupt you. But I didn't have to make notes. Okay. There we go. So, so that's second position, A2. Yep. Can you try that? That's book three, page, I think, 24, right? Yeah, 24. First note's out of what? C? No? The very first note. Guitar? Yeah. You know, one way I like to do that first snippet sometimes is to do it one time just in first position. 
Like if you're not sure what it's supposed to sound like, you do one, two, three, four, three, two. And then you would say, You know what note is that supposed to be? Yeah, but I don't really get how to do it. Okay, so let's break it down and figure it out. I'm, I'm going to have you figure it out though, okay? What's the name of the first note? E flat. And what's the name of the next note? C. And what's weird about those two notes? They both have what on them? Slur. They have a slur, uh huh. And what number do they have on top of them? Right, so that's weird, right? That you would put a one on both notes. But what is that telling you? What does that mean you have to do? Just that sometimes, remember that um, dreidel song where it was written in by hand? Yeah. Where it was just sloppy. It's just like that. It doesn't mean anything different. There you go. Yeah, do it one more time. do is take that little baby note out and pretend it doesn't exist. But for these three weeks, you can just play it as it's written. Okay? And don't worry about the fact that it's a little baby note. All right? You're doing great. So you've got those two shifting etudes, and you know it's going to get us ready for the Vivaldi Violin and Concerto. Do so I do the book three and the book two? Yeah. Play the book two a little bit more. And then do the book three, right? So the sec third and, and keep the second musician. Your beret. Yeah, she's working on. Her, she's gonna work on her tone. Right. Yeah. Um, and do the sights, and then and maybe just if Marsha, this would be a question. Is that I do not do the shifting in the sights concertos. They put shifting in there, I think, for teaching points. But because she's gonna do chamber music with shifting, she doesn't need it. I wouldn't normally put the shifting in some of those. Some of those. You mean that the one? What? Oh oh oh. The sights, I don't do shifting, but all the clearly. Well, right. Yeah. That's the one everybody. So you know what this is, basically. This is like the first lesson in year two of you teaching out. Really? It's like an anniversary, yeah. basically. Because we started like the second week in December. Really? We had one or two lessons and then a break. That's hilarious. Okay. Isn't that like a really good year? Yeah, that's a great year. You learned a lot. You, the two of you really worked so well together this year. We got next year new adventures, right? Yeah, and book four and book five. Exactly. Or book six because I did three books. Um, since well, part of that was because you were reviewing, but yeah, yeah. But don't get, you know, whatever happens, we'll enjoy it. Deal? Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good break you and too. Um, don't forget your candy cane. Unless you don't like don't forget canes. your purse. <laughs>